Paris from the High Definition Studios of WATN. You're watching John Paul, Caitlin Lockerbie, and meteorologist Chelsea Chandler. Coming up on 642, it's a Monday morning here on Good Day. Yeah, thanks for waking up with us this morning. Getting a check of weather and traffic as you head out the door here, and it is going to be a warm one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely going to be toasty as kids head back to school. Right now, it's pretty quiet on the radar. We've seen a few isolated showers that have already popped up in northeastern Arkansas, but overall, quiet for now. I expect that to change a little bit later on today. We also have a heat advisory for northeastern Arkansas counties in Orange, and from noon until 7, where it'll feel like 105 degrees and a above today, so definitely want to be careful. As far as our current conditions right now, uh, 75 degrees in Memphis, the surrounding areas from 70 up to 75, so still pretty mild for us, but of course that'll be changing. So as kids are heading out for their first bus ride of the year, well, we are going to continue to see these numbers climbing around 77 degrees at the top of the hour and mostly sunny, 80 degrees around 8 o'clock, uh, but we of course will see those temperatures climbing much, much higher. As we get closer to midday, around 10 o'clock, 87 degrees, lunchtime at noon, 90, and we'll start to see a few more fair weather clouds but as we get into the afternoon hours, then we start to see a chance for some isolated showers and thunder showers. So it could interrupt some recess plans. 93 degrees, so it is certainly going to be hot as kids are out there playing. As far as after school activities, whether it's band practice, football practice, whatever it may be, and we're going to start to see some real heat as kids get out of school around 2 o'clock and even to 4 o'clock. We're still about 94 degrees, feeling about like 102 with that 20% chance of isolated showers and storms carrying us all the way through the 6 o'clock hour uh, where you'll be uh, seeing again uh, that can potentially impacting us. So as we take a look at the hour by hour again, it's quiet around lunchtime, but then you start to see it really firing up. Most of the activity appears to say uh, north of I-40, really uh, into northeastern Arkansas, where it is going to be the hottest, where it is going to be the most humid. So that makes sense. However, we can't rule out any other showers in uh, North Mississippi or even into the metro as we get into the later afternoon and early evening hours. But we should be clear as the evening rolls on overnight into tomorrow morning. You really see that southerly flow, those red arrows bringing in that warmth and that moisture. Uh, by tomorrow morning, we're at 80 degrees around 8 o'clock. And as we head into the afternoon, more chances for isolated showers ahead of uh, what will be some stronger uh, rain chances later into the overnight hours and beyond. So let's talk about uh, the next seven days on your forecast here. Well, Warm today in the low 90s, but as we head into the rest of the week, by Wednesday, a cold front moves in. And once it gets here, it just kind of stalls out. That's why we have rain chances ramping up today, 20%, 40 tomorrow, but by Wednesday, 60%. So 60 to 50% as the work week and school week continues into the weekend, 40% chance. Temperature is going to drop into those upper 80s, but the price is the rain. So we'll be tracking it, keeping you up to date with the latest on your forecast. Of course, you can always find it on our Facebook page. Just go there and type in Vocal Memphis.